Hello, this is Elias Saba from AFTVNews.com and in this video I'll show you how to root a Fire TV 2, install TWRP custom recovery, and install a pre-rooted ROM all without using a PC. All you need to follow this guide is a USB keyboard and a USB mouse. Currently the latest software version for the Fire TV 2 is version 5.0.5 .5, and so this guide works for all software versions but be sure to check the description of this video for a link to the written guide where I'll be sure to make a note if this guide works for future software versions as well. Alright let's get started. The first thing you want to do is enable apps from unknown sources. So from the Fire TV home screen scroll down to settings, over to system, select developer options and turn Turn on apps from unknown sources. Next you need to install a free app called ES File Explorer. So search the app store for that and install it. Once installed launch ES File Explorer and press cancel if you're asked to update. Next you need to open the favorites section. Select the first add option and then in the path field enter http colon slash slash links.aftvnews.com. Enter anything you want in the name field and hit add. Scroll down to the link you just added and select it to open the page. This page has links to the 5 files you need to download. I've included both direct links to the files you need as well as links to the pages where those files are located in case the direct links go down in the future. Now would be a good time to plug in your USB mouse but I'm doing everything here with the remote just to show you that it can be done with just the remote. First download Kingroot version 4.1. If the file doesn't start downloading when you hit the download button, select the more option in the lower right corner and pick open in browser. When it's done downloading, press the back button and reload the links page to move on to the next file. Next download TWRP custom recovery. Right now the latest version is version 5 but be sure to just get the latest version. When that's done hit back again, reload the links page and now download the latest pre-rooted ROM. Now again press back and download the md5 file that matches that pre-rooted ROM. And then lastly download smanager. Again if ES File Explorer doesn't start the download immediately, select the open in browser option. This time when it's done downloading select the open folder option to see the 5 files you just downloaded. From here select the script manager file, then select install, then scroll down to the bottom and select install. Once that finishes installing select done to go back to your downloads folder and now select the kingroot file. Select install and then scroll down to the bottom and select install one more time. When it's done installing this time select open. Press down once and then the select button to click the try to root button at the bottom. When it's all done it should say root successfully at the top. Now head to the home screen, down to settings, over to applications, down to manage applications and open the King user app. You don't need to actually do anything in this app, it just needs to have launched at least once. Now press the back button a couple times and launch S Manager. Select OK to dismiss the message and scroll to and open the download folder. Scroll down to the Fire TV 2 recovery file, press and hold the select button for the pop-up to open, then select open as and select script slash executable. Now here's the only time you absolutely need a mouse. You need to use the mouse to click the SU icon and then click run. Select allow on the pop-up that appears and TWRP will extract and install itself. Now connect the USB keyboard to the Fire TV and restart it. When you see the boot menu, press the right arrow button to select launch recovery. From within recovery, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the cursor and the enter key to click. Now move the cursor and select install. Select up a level from the folder option on the left side, then scroll down and select the SD card folder. Now select the download folder and select the Sloan file. Now click the button with the three arrows and wait for the pre-rooted ROM to install. Now you can reboot the system and be done if you want but I highly recommend that you wipe your data to factory reset the device. That way you're sure all the junk that Kingroot installed is gone. So click the home button in the bottom center to go back to the main menu. Then click wipe and now click advanced wipe. Click the checkbox next to internal storage, data, cache and Dalvik and then go down to the bottom and click the three arrows. Don't worry if this process takes a long time, just wait it out. 
When it's finished, select Reboot System and you're all done. Now go through the initial setup and you'll be left with a clean rooted Fire TV 2 with just Super SU installed. It would also be a good idea to block software updates on the device itself. You can find instructions on how to do that at aftvnews.com block and be sure to check the site for the latest Fire TV news and guides.